I live in northern Alabama, just south of Maximum Eclipse in Kentucky. To simplify things today, I'm going to use numbers that would relate to watching the eclipse in the middle of Nashville, Tennessee. This first video involves some very basic practical points about tripods, cameras, and using a solar filter. The first thing to consider for, t for photography is can your tripod get your camera gear to point to 63.5 degrees in the sky? For us in the southeast, the good thing about being close to maximum eclipse is we get the maximum totality time. But at maximum eclipse, the sun is at the high point in the sky for your latitude. So in Nashville, the eclipse is going to happen at 63.5 degrees. You have to do a test with your tripod, the camera you plan to use with a solar filter on it in the configuration that will work for positioning your legs and other adjustment knobs on your camera and tripod to get to point to 63 degrees. People are going to be coming from all over the world and living at many different latitudes as they potentially practice their photography. But practicing is different if you are doing it in Canada versus doing it in Mexico. It's different if you will be buying a camera in the winter and getting your gear ready in the winter to prepare for the clips because you, as you practice the sun will be lower again depending on your latitude. So you have to make sure that your camera gear can point to 63 degrees. This camera is pointed to the sun right now. You can see some of the problems with tripods and pointing camera equipment high in the sky. The adjustment knobs and arms for tripods can be obstructed by the legs and the base of the tripod. So you have to make sure you have a tripod that will allow you to get to 63 degrees. And when you set up on the day of the eclipse, if there are adjustment knobs in the way, you have to make sure at eclipse time you're not going to have uh, obstruction of your knobs. The eclipse will not move much during the time of totality, so you should be able to be within the spacing of your tripod legs. The other issue is focusing your camera. When you're pointing this high in the sky, it is very hard to get underneath your camera to look up and do manual focus. You will not want to use autofocus during a total eclipse because you cannot trust that the autofocus will be able to pick up what it needs to pick up to continue to focus as the sun goes through the partial phases to a small crescent and then finally to totality. So autofocus and auto exposures are generally not suggested for eclipse photography. There is more on the internet about taking the photography and doing exposures. The point of this video is to talk about the technical aspects of your tripod, having the ability to rotate at 63 degrees and not get obstructed, being stiff enough to not drift when you have all your heavy camera gear on the tripod, and using manual focus, and being able to get to the eyepiece to focus on the sun. You might want to consider buying a 90 degree adapter for your camera to make the ergonomics of pointing your camera and focusing much easier. This is very important when eclipses are high in the sky.